Hey guys, thank you for tuning to Mumu Outdoors. A couple of days ago, the Fish and Wildlife announced that confirmed that the uh, opening of a dungeon season is going to be this Saturday, November 5th, 2022, uh, with some restrictions. So I just want to go over some uh, regulations um, when it comes to start of the season. Uh, it's going to change later on, um, based on the uh, reassessment. So, the restriction is you cannot use a crab trap like this. It could be a rectangular enclosed tra uh, crab trap, or it could be a round, but you cannot use the crab trap. So, this will come later in the season uh, because of a whale entanglement. Uh, they don't want people to put down the trap and just leave it there for many, many days uh, for the whales to get entangled. Uh, whereas the, with the hoop net, you're supposed to lift it up and check every two hours. So let's put this aside. What you are allowed to use is the hoop nets. There are two uh, different hoop nets. Uh, one is type A is the one that sits flat on the ground. And when you lift it up, kind of gives you the reverse conical shape, uh, which I do not have. What I have is three different types of uh, Type B hoop net, uh, commonly known as a conical hoop net because of the shape, obviously. So most common conical hoop net um, you're gonna find out in the retail is the uh, Promar Ambush. Promar has three different models. Uh, this one is a uh, 30 inch diameter. They also have 36 inch diameter and they also have a really heavier 36 inch diameter ambush hoop net like this. And the other one you're gonna find is the uh, Danielson a conical. They call it a deluxe hoop net. Promar calls it an ambush and the Danielson calls it a deluxe hoop net. Deluxe hoop net is 32 inches in diameter. These two are the one you're gonna find out in the, uh, in the market. Or you can make yourself a custom made hoop net like this. Um, my buddy Fishing 24 7 Tui actually made this for me. Um, so, when it comes to making a Type B hoop net like this, uh, there are some restrictions as well. So, the restriction is the, uh, the biggest ring cannot exceed 36 inches. So, 36 inches is the maximum size you can have and the, uh, the top opening has to be at least 15 inches that in diameter. Tui actually has a video on how to make one of these at home using a rebar, really good video so I'll leave that link in the description so check it out. And the height of the trap uh, from the bottom ring to the top ring uh, cannot exceed more than 10 inches and uh, when you are putting up the bottom of the net to the top ring cannot exceed 30 inches so there's a, there are some uh, restrictions so make sure you guys follow the uh, restriction and when it comes to the promo ambush you have a bottom bit ring which is totally fine and uh, once again from the top to the bottom cannot exceed 30 inches for kayaker uh, as myself um, I like the 30 inch diameter ambush uh, because it's easily more easily manageable and uh, 32 is okay too. I do like using this As well for Dungeness, but if you're on a boat uh, if you are dropping deep water uh, You probably want to go with the 36 inch uh, version that is heavier uh, because deeper water uh, more likely for the trap to walk away uh, because of the current uh, swell one not for kayakers 30 inches are the best I think in my opinion so when it comes to the buoy there is not really any restrictions on the buoy when it comes to crabbing if you are in SoCal going for lobster hooping you have to have your go ID number on your on your buoy uh, there's no restriction on the size uh, there's no restriction on the color and there's no red marker restrictions 
for lobster hooping but only restriction is you have to have the full ID number on your buoy for lobster only if you are above Santa Barbara and going for Dungeness crab there's no restrictions so you can have any size buoy any type of color uh, you don't need a marker red marker buoy and you don't even need a go ID number technically but I do recommend uh, you having a go ID number on your buoy and also your initial or whatever you want to write down so you can be easily identified that it, this is yours uh, more importantly so other people know that this is not theirs so yeah I do recommend writing OID number and your, your initial or whatever you want to write down so in the later in the season when they do allow crab trap for Dungeness there is a buoy restrictions which is the main buoy has to be 5 inches wide 11 inches long uh, with your go ID number uh, the color doesn't matter and also you have to have this red marker buoy which is 3 inches wide and 5 inches long so that's the restriction for the crab trap in addition to that you have to have a crab trap validation uh, you just purchased one uh, it was like a few dollars last year in order for you to have the crab trap you have to have a crab trap validation card and also the right size buoy and with the 3x5 marker buoy so on a vessel either you're on a boat or you're on a kayak you can only carry up to 10 crab traps but when it comes to hook nets when you are crabbing not lobster hooping there are no limits on how many hook nets you can have on a vessel if you can you can carry 20 you can carry 30 I think that's very overly excessive but uh, I personally like to carry um, 6 or 7 or less than 10 just because I have an AI uh, with the AMAs and I can carry a lot of hoop nets I actually have a separate video on how to do crabbing so check it out I'll leave it in uh, in description I actually have two videos so uh, if you're not familiar with crabbing from a vessel from a kayak uh, check that out. This Saturday, November 5th, is the opener. So I know there's going to be a lot of people out there. Uh, the weather looks decent. It's not too bad. So uh, I think uh, there's going to be a lot of people out there. Uh, a lot of people crabbing uh, for the first time uh, since the closure. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. And once again, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.